Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wild Yoga Tribe podcast. I'm your host, Lily Allen Duenas. Together, we'll talk about the world of yoga and we'll talk to people from around the world. Before diving into the episode, I wanted to invite you to head on over to my Patreon account. I would love your support and I'm thrilled to have this beautiful community space where we can do yoga together, meditate together, and you'll get access to exclusive content. Get ready for some private Zoom Q&As, free printable art, meditation recordings, and more. Follow the link in the show notes to get started or head on over to any of my social media channels or my website, wildyogatribe.com to hang out, get to know each other better and find out more about all the support and resources available to you. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. Namaste, and welcome back to the Wild Yoga Tribe podcast. Today, I'm so excited to welcome Kushal Roy Joy onto the show today. He's a yoga teacher from Bangladesh and a yoga studio owner. He owns Joy San Yoga and Wellness Center in Bangladesh. He's a certified yoga therapist with the International Association of Yoga Therapy and is a certified music therapist as well. He's so involved in yoga in Bangladesh, whether it's teaching yoga at multiple universities, or at hospitals. Kushal also organizes international yoga festivals in Bangladesh. So thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you very much for inviting me here to this beautiful work of yours. So to dive in, tell us about your story. How did yoga come into your life? I first saw yoga on TV and practicing it myself. I liked doing yoga and when I learned that people's alignment or cure by practicing yoga, I started liking it more. Because since my childhood, I love to help people. So I wanted to do something so that people stay healthy and beautiful. People don't get sick. Then in 2009, got a yoga book and then joined a yoga class at High Commission of India, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Within a few days, some people started asking me to teach yoga. Before that, I came to Dhaka with a diploma in agriculture and learning the work of graphics and started working in graphic designer, also going to practice theater and music classes. One day I told my yoga teacher that I want to be a good yoga teacher and what I need to do for that. My yoga teacher told me then go to India and take an admission in Esbasa Yoga University. Then I said that no one from Bangladesh has studied yoga before. Who will help me? My teacher said, Everyone there will help you a lot. According to my yoga teacher, I got admission in a postgraduate course at Esbasa Yoga University of Bangalore, India. My subject was Master's in Yoga Science with a scholarship from the High Commission of India. My parents didn't talk to me for about a month when I told them I would study yoga. Parents told me, who will give you that job? Why are you studying this subject? This future is dark in a country like Bangladesh. I said, somebody has to start it. So I started studying yoga. Now I am trying to teach yoga in everyone in different places of different parts of Bangladesh, trying to inspire people. Thank you so much for sharing more about how yoga came into your life in Bangladesh. And also, I would love to hear about your actual definition of yoga. Yoga is the name of keeping in the mind always still. Always, you, sh you should touch in present moment. You should do focus on the present moment. That's it. I also know that you got your master's in yoga. I think that's amazing, a master's in science and yoga. I know that's not a degree that's offered all over the world. So could you tell us more about what getting your master's in yoga was like and how was your studies? My master's in yoga science course is two years where there were four semesters and one semester we had our yogic hospital. So we don't call hospital, we call it Arugodham. 
Arugu is a Sanskrit uh, word where we use to observe various diseases of a person. Our masters in yoga science taught various Vedic subjects, including yoga philosophy, Patanjali Yoga Sutra, Purans, Bhagavad Gita, yoga philosophy, Sanskrit, anatomy, psychology, yoga in medicine. Uh, different type of yoga therapy. Uh, we all know the various aspect of yoga in depth, and uh, our teachers described the um, all types of yoga sutra, and they understand us very clearly why this sutra wrote uh, for this and why we chant uh, before asana for this mantra and why this mantra we chant before pranayama it it's a great lesson very good course oh great yeah that sounds like an awesome course and like you'd learn a lot from it so i know you also lead yoga teacher trainings in bangladesh at joy san so tell us what it's like to lead those teacher trainings are all of your students from bangladesh or are they international just tell us more about your yoga teacher trainings yeah there are a lot of there are a lot of students came from out of bangladesh and maximum Bangladeshi people. I really like to give yoga teacher training in Bangladesh. When I wanted to do a certificate course on yoga in Bangladesh, at that time, there was no such center in Bangladesh which provided the certificate of international standard yoga teacher training course. Since then, I thought that if there was an international standard yoga teacher training center in Bangladesh, then many people could take yoga teachers training course from there and they could make themselves independent. There was no need to spend a lot of money to go outside. Thinking of that, I started my first international yoga teachers training course in Bangladesh and we are affiliated by Asian Yoga Therapy Association, World Yoga Federation, International Yoga Therapy Association and Yoga Alliance International. The total of 150 students from first to third batch have completed the teacher's training course. I love their interest and enthusiasm. Thanks for sharing more about the yoga teacher trainings. I would also love to know, why do you like teaching yoga? Ah, uh, oh, why I love to teaching yoga? I love teaching yoga for many reasons. One of the reasons is that yoga practice helps a person to become a right person. Yoga practice improves a healthy person physically, spiritually, socially, financially, and they are always be happy. So I choose the profession of yoga teaching. Great. Yeah, I love teaching yoga as well. And I, there's so many layers to what it means to be a yoga teacher. So in Bangladesh, what is yoga like in your culture? What does your community think about yoga, if it's popular or if it's new? Just share more about your community and yoga in Bangladesh. Yoga is currently being practiced in 64 districts of Bangladesh, which used to be practiced only in 10 to 15 districts before. People from different districts from Bangladesh are learning online and offline in our yoga classes. Teaching yoga and opening a yoga center in his district and many other choosing yoga as their profession. Currently, we are practicing yoga in various schools, university, hospitality, hospitals, corporate, and resorts in Bangladesh, which was not in case before. That is the future of Bangladesh, future of yoga in Bangladesh is bright. So now may Bangladeshi people are studying yoga in foreign universities. Well, that's interesting that a lot of people from Bangladesh are studying yoga in foreign universities now. So are they becoming yoga teachers and then coming back to Bangladesh to teach? Yeah, many yoga teachers come to Bangladesh and they are teaching yoga. That's great. Do they teach in Dhaka in the capital like you do or do they come and work for you? No, 
Dhaka is the capital and they are coming to Dhaka and another place is very wonderful very beautiful place uh, we called uh, Cox Bazar there are um, a long longest beach we you know uh, Cox Bazar is the largest beach of Bangladesh it's a very good place to yoga so there are many foreign yoga teachers come to Bangladesh and go to Cox Bazar and they are conducting yoga class Okay, that's great. And yeah. so for those of our listeners who don't know much about Bangladesh, can you tell us more about Bangladesh? Bangladesh has India on one side, Myanmar on the another side, and Nepal and Bhutan on the other side. And the South Bangladesh is fully the beach. This is the ocean and there are a saying in bengali people that bengali language mache bhate bangali mach means fish uh, bhat means rice bangali is a community so we like fish and rice and the people of bangladesh have very much uh, happy and we love guest and we love to give hospitality. I've loved how you've talked about yoga in Bangladesh and also what Bangladesh is like and what you love about teaching yoga. So is there anything more that you want to add or any final thoughts about what yoga means to you or what yoga means to your country? Yeah, we have some we have some issues for our country because in the context of bangladesh yoga is considered by all to be an act of hinduism no one want to do it easily because the majority of muslim muslim community uh, in this country but now they're thinking uh, no this is not for only uh, hinduism but it's a lifestyle yoga means a lifestyle so now they are practicing yoga pranayama meditation and mantra and they understand oh this is only a path of a very good lifestyle not comes from religion so now there are a lot of people are joining yoga out of their religion view so this is very much very much positive lesson for bangladesh and that's it and we have some yoga courses and we have another service is reiki acupressure color therapy magnet therapy astrology vastu shastra so anyone can join with us by online or offline Well thank you so much for joining me today Kushal I am going to link your your Facebook page Joy San Yoga here in the show notes wherever our listeners are listening to this podcast as well as on my website wildyogatribe.com/yoga in Bangladesh so they can find you there and also read a transcription of this podcast episode if you want to follow along there will be other goodies there on the website too so thank you so much for being with me today it's been so nice to be with you dear listener on behalf of Joy and yoga and wellness center i invite you all to come to bangladesh especially thanks to dear lily ji for inviting me to her beautiful event may you all may you all be well be healthy be beautiful thank you Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Wild Yoga Tribe podcast. My conversation with Kushal Roy Joy, a yoga teacher from Bangladesh, was so informational as we talked about how yoga is a call to presence as yoga is always helping to keep the mind still. And if you're looking to tune into a podcast episode that's all about yoga in Bangladesh, then this is the conversation for you. Thank you for listening to the Wild Yoga Tribe podcast. Be well. Thank you for the gift of your attention today. If you feel called, please share this episode with someone who you think could benefit from it. Leaving a review would also be so appreciated.
I also hope you can join me online on my website, wildyogatribe.com, or on social media. I would love to get to know you better. I would love to share with you and to hear your thoughts. Send me a DM, send me a note, get in touch. It would be great to hear from you. And as always, be well, dear one, be well.